Hello? Okay. Hello? You're rolling. I literally have a fur in my mouth. <laughs> God damn it. It's been a while, but now we're here. Oh my God! <laughs> Hi everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to this crazy corner of the internet where sometimes we take really long breaks and there's a roller coaster, but then we come back up the roller coaster and we find our shoes. You don't walk on the roller coaster, but you still need shoes because it's gross to have your bare feet anywhere except your house. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're done talking about feet. Hi, it's been a while, oh my God. <laughs> I miss you guys. I'll talk about a couple things first and then we're gonna get right into it. So here's the deal. It's been a minute since I did like a real video. I still have a lot going on. I wasn't really inspired to make videos for a while, which is really depressing and it sucks because uh, I basically wasn't like in the best place for a while and we're still making our way upward. <laughs> That's better. I never wanted to feel like pressured to make content or anything like that. And for a minute there, I was sort of feeling like I was pressuring myself to make videos. In my time sort of like being internal and rediscovering myself, I ended up watching a lot of YouTube. Again, no shocker there, but I ended up watching a lot of channels that do improv. I really, really love improv. So I've never taken a class. I've never studied it. I don't know much about it. I do know that I like being random. I watched a college humor video recently where uh, they did this really funny sort of concept, creating voiceovers <laughs> for uh, stock footage. And I said, I can do that. I can't do it well, but I can do it. <laughs> Thinking about it made me laugh a lot. And then I felt inspired to make a video again. And here we are. It's so exciting. <laughs> That's what I want to do today. Today I want to be commercially viable. Today I would like to put mac and cheese in your bowl and give you half a spoon. You'll have to find the other half of the spoon. I'm sorry. But then you can try to eat mac and cheese. I am not edible, by the way. I probably should say that here. That would be an important thing to say. Cool. Today, I am going to watch some stock footage and I'm going to try to improv a voiceover and we'll see how well it goes. I want to get better at improv for those of you studious forest creatures who have been watching the burrito files on the Twitter land. You know that my improv is, it's very wacky, but I would like to explore that further in as many different ways as possible because improv makes me giggle. Are you excited? I hope you're excited. Also, Take five seconds to pause this video and make a bowl of popcorn. You should do that, because hopefully I do a good job. <laughs> Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Hi, my name is Helen. I love matcha tea. <sighs> so relaxing. Now to type my essay. I love handwriting my essay too. If you have carpal tunnel, this tutorial isn't for you. Now I'm typing again. Can you see my acrylic nails? I bought them myself. <laughs> I love nail polishes. I buy all my nail polishes from, oh, um, hi, I changed my hairstyle. Here's your book on hairstyles you wanted, thanks. I'm back to writing my essay. Dear diary, how do you say essay in Spanish? Um, this computer isn't working. Like, I don't understand. And that's it for the first video. <laughs> I got a remote because I'm cool. <laughs> Hi, my name is Colonel Sanders. Do you know what time it is? It's time for rosemary garlic chicken because I'm all out of time. <laughs> and my name's Bob. My suit's black because I'm going to a funeral. Do you like my hair? Every office day starts the same for me. I bring my briefcase in. I talk to Joe from Family Guy. And then I do a bunch of reports with Helen. She likes matcha tea for some reason. I don't quite understand that. Anyway, have you seen my friend Phil? He's always throwing money on the sidewalks. Like, who is he paying? The sidewalks? Have you ever seen a sunset in giant mirrors? It felt like that video had more of a storyline and I still get tripped up on the jump cuts. It's really hard to do that on the spot, but it's really fun. <laughs> One more video, let's do it. Have you ever seen your boss draw a pie chart and think, man, I would love some pie right now? Well, you're not alone. Susan draw up his pie charts too. But the thing is, she'd rather be on vacation with her husband, Sven. Sven doesn't like pie charts, but he does love pie. 
Have you ever taken a picture of a bridge and thought, man, that would look good with some pie on it? Now I'm talking in a field with my sister. She hates pie, but we're gonna laugh anyway. We don't wanna upset our grandparents or anything. This dog could eat some pie, but he won't because he's allergic. I'm going to sneeze all over my favorite book. <laughs> I'm really glad you guys enjoyed this because I love talking about pie, but I am allergic to family gatherings and good literature. Wow, you can explore a whole new world with pie. That felt easier somehow. It still didn't feel like I knew exactly what I was doing, but it definitely felt a little bit easier. So practice does make perfect. We love a theme. <laughs> That's really all I had today. I would love to keep doing this. Uh, if you guys would like to see more like improv or silliness, please let me know in the comments below. And I just want to reassure you, I feel much better at this point. Thank you to everybody who reached out. You all are very, very sweet. I'm super grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for being patient and very, very kind during this time. If you have something you would like to see in the next video, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to make it happen. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video where I drink matcha tea, put a pie in my face, and call myself a very disorganized Starbucks. Bye!